Hi, I'm Anna, and I'm a freshman at Marion, and this poem is Things I Often Think at Night. Stars are so much better than humans. They have a cycle, a pattern, they're predictable. Humans aren't. They're rash and undecided, and half the time they're crying. It's pathetic. <laughs> Sometimes I hate being human. One of my biggest flaws as a human is that I'm scared of the dark. I put fairy lights around the room and light them up at night to keep the monsters away. But when they're creeping inside of my room, my brain slithering inside of my skin and shredding it apart in the deepest crevices of my mind, it's almost like they're mocking me. The lights are shining brightly and cheerfully when I am anything but. I can love other people freely. I will love you until I shatter, but loving myself that is something I've never managed to achieve. The fairy lights on my walls, they're stars. Stars with individual spindles stretching billions of kilometers until they crash into the next. They encompass me, forming a wall so solid no one can knock it down. No one but myself. And sometimes, if I'm lucky, when I fall asleep, I see her. My stars are shining brightly and she's just a silhouette in the extensive darkness. She's a constant standing there and I profess everything profound enough to include in the prophecy of our demise and she listens to why that scares me. We were not written in the cosmos. There's no prognostication scribed into the heart of the galaxy telling me my first breath would be inhaled at 3.42 a.m. on a Tuesday to a mother who had no idea how to take care of herself, let alone another. It's a romantic idea that someone whispered a phrase into the fires of time and slowly it turned into paragraphs upon paragraphs of objects and people that were created by the sheer will of the universe. It's a handsome thought, but not one I often think. The fairy lights on my walls, they're stars. They're a barrier too. And along with keeping everything that scares me out, they keep me in. They keep the girls there's a reason the girl who sits on the stars sits on the stars and not on my bed. Because if anything, she scares me the most. We were not written in the cosmos, but I would take my pen and write the executive order to tear my wall down and gather her hand and let her lead me into the galaxy. I would give up my home, my safe haven, to let her do this. And that absolutely terrifies me. 